tonight in New York City's iconic Times Square. Welcome 2024! Nothing is being left to chance, even with no specific threats to the city or state. This is the safest big city in America, New York City. New York Governor Kathy Hochul ensuring it stays that way, tapping New York State Police, the New York National Guard, and even the Port Authority to keep the millions expected to flood the streets of the city tomorrow night safe. We're not used to the crowds to this level, so we're glad the security around. Jose Vega is an NYPD veteran, well-versed in the city's New Year's Eve celebration. The plan is really simple, is to keep things as safe as possible. There'll be metal detectors, they'll use vehicles as um, barricades, drones, helicopters, chem meters, radiological pagers, radiological backpacks. Security will be beefed up at airports, bridges, tunnels, and even mass transit systems. And with the tensions here at home from the Israel-Hamas war, they're planning for protests. Demonstrations having already erupted during NYC's Christmas celebration and Thanksgiving parade. Security will be as tight as ever across major cities around the country. From Boston. We will have a strong presence throughout all our Boston neighborhoods. To Las Vegas. Every piece of information, every source that gets reported to us, every tidbit gets followed up uh, vigorously. This right here may be one of the best views of the ball drop in Times Square. And you can bet the NYPD is going to have this and more using a full complement of their tools, including drones and helicopters. The NYPD has also expanded their zone around Times Square this year. Entry points will be tightly controlled. I'm back now with George in Times Square. And I know there's a whole layer of security that people may not even see, right, George? Yeah, that's right, Kate. There's a whole cyber team monitoring social media for online chatter. But at this hour, there are still no credible threats. Kate? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.